Hi guys! So today I just want to give you a quick little video on how I educate my kids. My daughter Carter is five and she's now in a charter slash private school. Next year it'll be private. Um, but she's very advanced. They're trying to get me to move her to a higher grade, but we're not going to do that yet. But um, the reason is because I found a lot of ways to help her um, learn early. She's been doing addition and subtraction since she was three, and she's five now, like I said. So let me show you. I'm going to try to rotate my camera and see if I can do that while I'm filming um, to show you the easiest way I found to help her do that. And you can help your kids do that, too. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, maybe I can't do it. So, hold on. <laughs> so, I'll just show you. So, what I found is these little cards, these little, it actually is paper, it's just dominoes they look like. And so, what I usually do is I laminate them, I cut them out, and I'll even cut sometimes on the um, line. Right now, she's able to do it together, like this, just for an activity. When we first started, I would cut on the line, and so I just have one two, three, four, you know, and so she started to recognize what those numbers look like. And it trained her brain into knowing, okay, that dot means one. So if I see that dot and I see those two dots, those are one and two. And so if you ever have a visual learner like I have, she's a visual and kinesthetic. So once I showed her, if you don't know the difference, I'll try to uh, explain it in the description. Um, cause I don't want to give you an inaccurate de definition. I know what it is in my heart, but I don't know what want to give you an inaccurate definition right now, but a, a small summary of like, you know, visual, it's kind of self-explanatory. You have to see something to understand it. Auditory, you have to hear something to understand it. My daughter has, is a combination of both. So when I give her a lesson, I have to show her, this is what this is. And this is how you do it. And then she's fine. Now, if I just gave her work and said, go. Even though she can read, even though she can read the instructions, she'd be like, what, mom? So, yeah, we all have our weaknesses and our strengths. And I think kinesthetic learning actually is a big strength. So, you know, whatever. But anyways, back to this. I'm rambling. I would cut these in half so that she could see. And so that way I'd be able to mix and match the different numbers because some of them have, um, you can see right here, some of them have the same numbers like there's a four and there's four and there's a four and there's a four and there's a four and that's funny because I can see that because I know it and I that's how I learned and I just realized that that's the best way that was the best way for me to learn and I just she thinks a lot like me so I just think it really would help her so anyways we're going to cut these I'm going I just sent my husband to the store to get some self laminating strips uh self laminating paper and some velcro and so with this I can just arrange them I can just cut this and I can say two and then I'll take a four. She knows that two dots represent two. She knows that four dots represent four. She doesn't even have to start going two plus four, one, two, three, four. You know how most kids do that? One, two, three, four. She doesn't do that. She knows two and she knows to start. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. So it has really helped her. And like I said, she's been doing addition since she was three. And right now we're about to move on to multiplication and division. But a lot of you ask me, like, you know, how are they so smart and blah, 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 blah. I don't say, don't get me wrong, they're just smart in general. But I'm sorry, I look crazy. I have <laughs> my hair up. Um, they're just smart in general, but I just try to find different ways to help them. I've always said, and my motto as a teacher has always been, if a child learns differently than the last child you taught, then teach that child differently than the last child who learned. A lot of teachers don't do that. They try to put everybody in this bubble and say, this is how I'm teaching it. This is how you need to learn it. And then when the child falls behind, they want to put them in special needs or they want to, yeah, no. If you see a child that has strengths or weaknesses in certain areas, you have to adapt a little bit because adapting is not crippling them. It is helping them and helping their mind to think in a certain way. So anyways, this was just a hack for the day to show you that if you want to teach math, say your, your child is struggling with addition, dice and dominoes and things like that, things with dots, things that are visuals, things that are not numbers. If a child can see that this one or this five represents this many at this time, 
it might make it a little easier. So let me know what you do. Let me know if you have any other ideas, but this definitely works for us. And like I said, since three, she's been doing this. Now we're moving on to multiplication and division and y'all, they're trying to put her in second grade. I'm not ready. She's five. Don't move her up. You can leave like move her up one level, but two, let's be real. Anyways, that's your daily teaching hack for the day. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.